Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to F1 Manager 23 Hardcore Series here on the PS5. Tonight, it is round 17, I believe. Round 17. We're heading to Suzuka for the Japanese Grand Prix. And I'm a little more confident going into this race than I was last night, or at least at the beginning of last night. I thought this would be a particularly difficult race for us coming off the back of what I thought would also be a particularly difficult race for us at Singapore. But we actually had decent pace at Singapore, more than I was expecting. And we finished fifth and ninth in Singapore, which could have been better had uh, we not had a dodgy pit stop with Oscar. Um, and had Oscar not had penalties, then he would have been further up as well. We could have had fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, fourth and sixth, something like that. I think we'd quite had the pace for the podium, but um, very good pace indeed, uh, considering our downforce is starting to slip against the uh, the competition. This is another one of those tracks where I'm not sure what to expect. We take a quick look at the circuit map. You can see a lot of very fast sections uh sector one i think could be tricky our high speed is the worst of our downforce areas and as you can see the first sector is all <laughs> pretty much high speed cornering that's going to be a bit complicated for us uh once we get through the hairpin it's then very fast so i think the second half of the lap from the hairpin onwards i think we're going to be in pretty decent shape we've got uh, that long drive all the way through to Spoon, and then the long run up to 130R into the Casio Triangle, and then onto the start finish straight before we go into the first turns. Most of that is flat out, uh, and that's where we're strong. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that, like last night, we can outperform uh, where we are on paper. Uh, we shall see how that goes. Let's uh, check to see if anyone's brought any upgrades for this race. Oh, our downforce has slipped again. Now it's kind of weird that high speed's actually better than our low and medium speed. So definitely been some improvements from some of the teams. Um, okay, that makes things a bit more interesting. Still very, very quick. Still very strong in the DRS. Those will go in our favor, at least, as I say, in the second half of the lap. But it's the first half that could be a bit of a problem. Uh, what do we want to do with our review targets for tonight? Let's see. The incentive is two in Q3. I didn't think that was possible last night. And it was. So we'll see if we can achieve that tonight. Still going to be a little more cautious on the qualifying position. Uh, yeah, I'm going to guarantee I'm going to go two in the top 12 just in case. Uh, both cars into Q2. Finish position, one in the top 10 should achieve that. Uh, don't think we've got the pace of the fastest lap, so I'm not going to commit to that one. And then we've got the finish position streak, one in the top 12 for two races. Complete that tonight, hopefully. And then our new quality streak, two in the top 14 for five. That's a very conservative target. But again, we set that before we knew just how fast we were actually going to be at the last circuit. So should be easy enough to do. We'll keep our fingers crossed. How you doing, Victor? How you doing, Kneecaps? How you doing, Tiny? Good to see you all. Uh, right. Weather is going to be good for the whole race, so we will get a full race with our, our DRS, although there is only the one DRS zone here on the main straight. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's head to Japan and get our practice on the way. from the Suzuka circuit in Japan. This unique track is a favorite home for motorsports and it welcomes us back this weekend. Get ready for exhilaration and speed with the Japanese Grand Prix. Suzuka is a high speed, high downforce circuit with unpredictable weather. Drivers need to have total trust in their cars to make the most of this challenging figure of eight lap. Red Bull have outscored their rivals to be at the top of the constructors' table right now. Progress with round 17, we're well past the halfway point of the season. 
Stay with us then as the weekend gets underway. Okay then, let's start with some setups. Uh, I am going to put Ollie back in the car tonight. Give him a run around Suzuka. Uh, so we're going to go with some soft tyres on his car. Let's see. We want 17 laps for Suzuka. There we go. And uh, we'll swap out some bits in a second. Let's put the setup on the car first of all. I'm going to go with a 9. 12, 5, 3, 7, 3.45, and a 0. Interestingly enough, every single setup I have has a toe of 0. So, <laughs> if it's not that, I'll be uh, a bit surprised. Now we need to do the parts. We'll go with that engine. And that ERS. And that gearbox. There we go. So, Ollie's car is prepped. Uh, for Oscar, start with the parts. There we go. Again, 17 laps. There we go. And let's go with a slightly different setup here. We'll go with an eight and a 13, five, seven, three, a three, zero, and then a zero. There we go. And Army's here as well. Welcome, Army. All right, let's send them out to uh, to the track. Once again, we see Ollie wearing the red helmet that instantly changes color the second he pulls out of the garage. Okay, and radio check. And of course, last night we did uh, re-sign Ben on a new two-year deal, which will kick in at the start of next season. Keep him uh, paired up with Oscar. What did I make of practice today? Uh, I saw the highlights of practice one. I didn't see, I completely forgot about checking the results of practice two. So I don't know how the cars looked in second practice. Um, the real test obviously will be qualifying tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see what kind of pace teams are actually going to have. Yep, yeah, it's all good. Copy. Not a good start setup wise for Oscar. Oh wow, 57%. That's really bad. See how Ollie does. Anything so 77%. So work needed on both cars here. Copy that. Uh, Mercedes one two in practice two. Were they on uh, what soft tires or medium tires? Was that from a quali run or a long term run? You know, again. Practice times you can't really read too much into. Um, been kind of beating that drum into people for the last couple of years. But you know, if they look, if the car look con looks consistent, you can kind of read into that. 
know, if it, if it looks like it's uh, holding the corners well, not being a handful to drive. So Mercedes have definitely made steps forward in that regard. Ferrari have made some good steps forward in that regard. Uh, I know Max wasn't particularly happy with his car in practice one. How did he, how was he in practice two? changes do we need to make to Ollie? Find that extra 23%. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to push that up to a 13 on the rear wing. We'll go with... a 7.5, 13. I'm going to go with a 5.5. 3.35. And a zero. Let's have a look at that. That's not quite there. Let me try an eight. Yeah, let me try that. Kind of winging it a little bit on this one. Big changes needed here. Oh, we are way off. Yeah. All right. So 12.5. I've only got a couple of 12.5 setups. So that eliminates a lot of them in the book. Um, let's go 7, 12.5, 4, 6, 3.5. Oh, it's not going to be that. Okay. Nine, twelve, five, three, seven. Three point four five. Don't think it's gonna be that either. Well it might be. It might be. We'll try it. It's a known quantity, so we'll see what happens. Hey didn't show them. back on track And Cloud is here as well. Welcome, Cloud. Now, I'm not planning on playing uh, F1 Fantasy, Shubham. I don't know if anyone else is. to 93% that's a good improvement okay mate understood still need to find a bit more though I'm 
does it feel? And a big improvement for Oscar, but still, again, a fair bit of work to do on that one. All right, so the front wing is out by a bit. Let's bring it down to a 7.5. Bring that to a seven, actually. And we'll roll with those changes. See what that does when Mick gets in the car in practice two. What are my thoughts on practice one and two? Uh, I was just saying, uh, I saw practice one highlights. Um, didn't see practice two. Um, so not really sure yet. I don't tend to pay a huge amount of t attention to practice because you don't learn a huge amount about pace. Uh, in in practice sessions but I am definitely curious about uh, qualifying tomorrow I'll be watching that like a hawk all right so it's not the three seven let's try a four six maybe it's a five five I'm going to go with a 4.6, so let's go that down to a 7. 12.5, It's closer, I think. Let's try it. Uh, yeah, Ricardo did look pretty decent in uh, in FP1. I'm, I'm I'm hopeful that Ricardo can get back to his uh, his best form because he was uh, an entertaining as hell driver to watch when he was at Red Bull. You know, uh, very brave in the corners. You know, late last of the late breakers. He used to ma manage to get some amazing overtakes done. I'd love to see him back at that best that he was before uh, Red Bull and Max broke his spirit a little bit. All right, let's see. We want to go 26 laps of fuel. Oh, no, wait, this is Mick. Mick needs to run a lot. Uh, I'm going to put... Let's see. What was it? 17 laps wasn't it so let's go with 38 laps of fuel and we want to go about 26 laps with Oscar and let's see if these changes have worked okay should be green now Take some free air. Copy. There were quite a few lockups in practice one. Uh, I do know as well, uh, thanks to the drain that came loose in testing last week, that they have made some changes. Uh, the drain that was on turn 11 has been removed and filled in with concrete. And they've. Uh, also um, welded, added some uh, extra strong welds to uh, to some of the other drains as well to hopefully stop them from popping out. They are going to be enforcing turn limits quite strongly, I think, on turn four, which is at the end of the uh, the, the DRS straight towards the end of the first sector. They'll be enforcing turn, uh, turn limits very strongly there. Zero tolerance from what I understand. And there was another turn as well, and I can't remember which one it is. It might be turn 15, which is the final turn. Might be turn 13, I'm not sure. I would imagine it'd be turn 15. How was that run? 94% so still need to find a bit more with Oscar have we got it right with Mick though yes we have excellent stuff 
And Mick can run for the rest of the session now. Awesome stuff. I saw something about DRS. I think that's after a safety car. I don't think that's um, from the start of a race. I think it's just after a safety car or a restart. I don't think it'll apply to the beginning of the race itself. I might be wrong on that. So don't, um, don't hold me to that. But I think that's what it was. I saw an article, oh, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago. And it, I can't remember exactly what it said now. Uh, it's still not there. I think that's got to be a 5-5 five five then. Means that's got to go up. No, it can't be that much. It's going to break the rear wing. Oh, oh. No, it's got to be a 4.6. All right, let me, let me try that then. That's that's potentially it. That's a change on the oversteer. That should get the braking to where it needs to be and the cornering, hopefully, and the traction, hopefully. We'll try that. I'm not sure if that'll do it or not. That'll be third practice to find out. Actually, let's do it now. Why not get a bit of advanced speed back in case we do get it wrong in, in uh, practice three. I believe we've been going to Bahrain for what 20 years now doesn't seem like 20 years Do I think 24 races on the calendar is a bit too much? Um, from a spectator point of view, I I like the fact that there's more races, but from a logistical point of view, yeah, it's a bit much. I mean, I remember the days when the championship was, you know, 16 races. when you got nine points for a win. I know there were rounds of the championship that were even less than that as well. Um, that's encouraging. Uh, just got to wait for final conf confirmation on the anti-roll bar distribution there for the traction. But I think... We might have nailed Oscar's setup there. That's really encouraging. So we'll just go with 15 laps of fuel because we won't need a lot. 
if we're correct. And if we aren't correct, we'll call him in and we'll put some more fuel in anyway. Uh, so that's Oscar set and prepped. Uh, Mick needs to run for about 32 laps of fuel, I think. Maybe slightly less than that. All right, let's send them out. Oh, let me check the parts will make it. Yes and yes. What's my take on the F1 TV commentators? Which stream do I prefer watching? Uh, I don't watch uh, the streams. I, I watch the highlights on Channel 4. I don't have access to F1 TV. But I'm not a big fan of Crofty. A bit less curb. Copy. Watch those curbs. Copy. I don't think anyone's ever going to replace... You know, Murray. Uh, it was quite funny listening to Murray and James Hunt when they used to bicker. Um, I liked Murray and Martin. That was a good combination. Um, I mean, there have been varying degrees of OK to not bad to good since then, but since Murray stopped doing it, but... Nothing's ever come close to Murray. Murray was just awesome. Cloud started remember, uh, watching uh, around 2015-16. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I started in the 80s. What do you think? Although we didn't really get full championship coverage in the 80s uh, we got the odd race here and there uh, it wasn't until the early 90s I think that we started to get the full season All right, there we go. Oscar is done. <clears throat> Just need to let Mick continue his run. been to one Grand Prix <clears throat> in my uh, in my many years that was in 2003 at Silverstone before they changed the layout to what it is now and uh, I was in the Brooklyn's complex and uh, I still miss that old variation of the circuit I mean I like the new one as well but I mean oh, that's a mistake from Mick but you know the old one I did really enjoy that circuit. And I was quite lucky with where I was replaced as well. When, uh, while I was watching, um, I saw Mick Schumacher run wide and into the, uh, into the dirt around the Brooklyn's turn in qualifying. I saw uh, 
Rubens Barrichello overtake Kimi, uh, Kimi Raikkonen coming out of bridge uh, up towards uh, Brooklands or the corner before Brooklands and uh, that was for the lead in the Grand Prix so I got to see the, the race winning overtake happen right in front of me which was pretty awesome And there we go. Mick is done. So now we just need to run the clock. There's a yellow flag now. Oh, spin for Charles Leclerc. Let's take a look at that. We don't get replays in practice very often. <laughs> oh, that's an unusual place to spin as well. Halfway through the chicane. Normally see him spinning on the exit of the chicane, not halfway through it. Practice is done. Time for qualifying. Qualifying is coming up and the drivers will be ready and raring to go. Suzuka is a notorious circuit, both for its unpredictable weather and the difficulty of closely following other cars. Making the right call on when to head out to avoid traffic and dirty air can make all the difference here. Now there's been a bit of talk lately about Oscar Piastri. Karun, how's he been doing? Looking at the lap times, we saw a real lack of pace from them in practice. They never looked quite comfortable with the setup and they'll need to try something new for qualifying if they want to get past Q1. And with that, let's get back onto the track. So, as always, time to put in some good bits. We'll use that engine tonight. And we'll switch to the new ERS, I think. Go with that gearbox. And it's a bit of more of a tricky choice for Oscar. His engine isn't great, but I don't want to take too much life out of that one before we get to Kota. Uh, well, not Kota, sorry, Mexico. Uh, so I'm going to go with this one again tonight. And I send them out. Yeah. 
a few cars coming out early this time. This is a great circuit, and I do love this circuit. It was a bit weird when it uh, went to Fuji for a while. So I'm glad it's back on the calendar permanently now. I don't know if we'll ever end up going back to Fuji again, but there's something special about this track. It is such a great circuit. Overtaking is so hard here, but it's a real uh, challenge for the drivers, getting the car hooked up to work perfectly through the S's at the beginning. 130R is now flat, never used to be. Uh, cars are obviously so much quicker and they've got so much more downforce than they used to back in the day, but you know, 130R used to be a real test of bravery. It's not anymore, fortunately. But. No traffic to be concerned about. OK, let's go. Clear ahead. Good to push. So this is the part of the track now where we should start to improve compared to the rest of the field because this is just flat all the way up to Spoon. And then we're flat all the way to the Cassia Triangle. And then we're flat all the way to turn one. The there we go. Hopefully that's enough to get us through. Copy. Delta, keep it negative. Run switch cool, a box, box. Copy. And we are a little quicker than Norris. Wow, that's a good lap time from Maloney. Now I'm not so sure we're going to be safe. <laughs> if Maloney's up in second. Ooh-wee. Albon's in first. What? Okay, we're going to have to run again, I think. How you doing, Anthony? Is a hell of a lap from Albon. I'm guessing he's got brand new parts in the car. Let's have a look at the cars that have set times. That's Russell. Norris. Bad ERS unit. That's going to hurt him. That's good. Oh, Bottas's car is looking a bit rough. We're not that much faster than him. So that's a bit disappointing. Uh, Science has got a bad gearbox. Albon... It's got a new ERS, a pretty good engine, but his gearbox has started to play up. Magnuson's has got a brand new engine. How did Maloney get a time that good with a gearbox and ERS that are in the yellow? Some interesting times. Uh, we finished fifth and ninth last night in the end, uh, Anthony. But, you know, if it hadn't been for that four seconds lost at the pit stop, it could have been fifth and sixth.
All right, second run. Let's see if we can get some good improvements. This will be it. We won't be going out again after this run. Unless we are seriously in trouble. Which I don't think we will be. Again, let's concentrate on those tyres and brakes. Yeah. See, Perez is about to cross the line. And it's only good enough for 10th. But having said that, 10th is only three tenths away from Albon's, you know, time at the moment. So very close margins. Still waiting on the Red Bulls. One of them on track right now, that's Leclerc. Max is still in the garage, I believe. Yes, he is. And Max coming out of the garage now. Ferrari in the way. That might have held us up in turn in the first sector there. Got an improvement. Joe goes top. More traffic ahead. That'll pull out of the way quickly. There we go. Already through. Mick went purple in the first. That's good. No hold up there either. That's good. Oscar crosses the line, goes P2. Plan the next couple of tenths. That's a really good lap. Cool the car Mick goes way. a little bit quicker. Copy. Mick's engine in better shape. Right. Where's Charles Leclerc? There he is. Good enough for P3. Interesting. Max on his flying lap. Very tight here. Look at the margins. Half a second from first to 15. Very tight margins. Is sitting currently in P7. Norris in P12 could be at risk. Depends. Ocon yet to set a time. I think he's just starting his flying lap. Stroll is coming up to the line now, just exiting the triangle. See what Stroll does. Stroll goes 12th. 
puts Perez in danger and Gasly, his uh, Stroll's teammate, in the drop. Oh, we got in the way a little bit of uh, Max there. That's good enough for fourth. All right. Let's see what Ocon does. Perez now in the drop zone. Sainz in danger. See what I mean about Norris might, might not be safe here. He's only a, a, a hundredth ahead of uh, Perez. There's going to be improvements in the final runs. This is going to be a very tight session. Quite interested to see how this plays out. For sure goes up to 18th. And Ocon goes sixth. That puts Sainz in the drop. And now Norris is only three thousandths ahead of the of the drop zone. Mercedes struggling a little bit. Neither driver. Uh, looking particularly competitive at the moment. Bottas just ahead of his teammate by a couple of places and just a couple of hundredths of, of, a, of a second. But our target for this weekend is, is McLaren. We want to try and outperform McLaren. So far, we do look to have some pace on them. I'm really, really hoping Norris goes out in Q1. That would make things easy for us. Let's speed time up for the final runs. Keep an eye on Yuki first. Let's see how much drivers improve. There's a there's a real risk that everyone's going to improve quite substantially on this run. <laughs> and given how tight the field is. We could see some big changes to the order here, but I still think we're safe. We better be safe. No time to go out now, so. Oh, and that's Yuki's lap ruined. So Yuki's not improving. All right, Norris. He's tucked up behind. Sainz. So he's going to get a bit of a toe on the second half of the lap, but that might affect him in the first half of the lap. The only thing that's really saving us at the moment is our rocket ship speed in a straight line. You know, our top speed is so good, and our DRS is, is so good. That's compensating for our lack of downforce and keeping us competitive. So we can keep that speed going into the new season and then really work on the on the uh, downforce. We could be potentially championship contenders. Which would be nice after five seasons to win the title. Norris looks like he's backed off a little bit from Sainz. Doesn't look close enough to get the benefit of a slipstream here. Leclerc stays in third. No improvement. There's an Aston getting out of the way. Paul Cher puts it on the top spot. Wow. Sides goes P2. Norris goes 12th. So he does improve a little bit. Right. Is anyone able to knock him out? Let's have a look. Who's still on a flyer? Russell. 
Bottas and Stroll also on flying laps. For sure, not going to do it. And then for sure, crosses the line and it stays 19th. So we need Russell to get ahead. Ah, he's going to be safe. There's only three cars. He can afford to lose three places. Russell jumps up to 11th ahead of both of the McLarens. There's Bottas. Where's Stroll? Here's Stroll. Stroll does not improve. What can Bottas do? Can he get through? No, he can't. So Bottas is out. But, uh, that's a mighty pace from Porsche there. Is he tucked in behind his teammate? He is. He got a slipstream, I think, from his teammate, potentially. Hmm, interesting. Right. On to Q2. And this is going to be a very tight session. giving Oscar a slipstream because with his engine being significantly worse than uh, Mix, he's going to be a little down on power. So we want to compensate for that with a, a tow on the second half of the lap. Just going to hope he stays close enough on the first half of the lap to achieve that. Even though Mr. Water. is going out if he has a similar pace to the last session then he's out in Q2 as is Yuki although Yuki let's be fair Yuki did get held up at the start of his second lap so maybe Yuki's got a bit more in the car but Norris not looking so convincing Probably going to catch Norris and Russell. I just hope we catch them in a decent position. I'm not sure we're close enough for Oscar to get the full slipstream here. I think we're just going to get away with not catching the back of Russell and the McLaren. Yeah, Oscar too far away for the toe.
127.6. Oh, big difference in time. Delta, stay negative. Make sure we're cooling the car. Gonna do another run on these tyres. Good entry. So let's attack the box, please. Uh, stop on the marks, wait for two seconds, and go to P1. Oh, yellow flag. What's happened? Lock up a joke. Now, by the looks of things, we're at turn 15 now. That's the entrance to the uh, triangle. Very heavy on the brakes. Just yeah, it just went straight on, didn't he? The car <laughs> by that point. Right, if we can stay close together, because we've got some cars coming through. Are they finishing their laps or starting? Hope they're finishing. No, the Aston is on a flyer. There we go. We want to keep our cars nose to tail if we can. We've got a Red Bull flying through the S's right now. It's going to be Leclerc because Verstappen has just posted a time. There we go. Oscar is definitely close enough now. No way. Oscar's in front. Damn. Didn't want that. available doing this just to get an extra boost of confidence before we go out on a set of brand new tyres at the end of the session I'm not expecting these times to be anything special so we'll just uh, whiz through this lap There we go. No improvement for Mick. Oscar improved a little bit, I think. Get him in the garage, get some brand new boots on. Mick is safe. Oscar isn't. Yes, I think Mick is safe. I'm not 100% certain. 
he should be safe but it depends how much other drivers improve if they put on new tires for this run as well which pretty much everybody has done The Red Bulls aren't running again. Ocon and Joe aren't running again. Yuki's not running again. Everyone else is either on an outlap or a flying lap. Let's see, Russell is on a flyer. Where is he? Shouldn't catch us. Sainz just starting his lap now. I think, maybe. Nope. Science goes up to third, so Oscar definitely not safe. Gasly is behind us on track. Albon's coming up to us. This is going to pull us over. There we are. This will actually help us because it allows Oscar to get a little bit closer to Mick. Clear track ahead. Push next lap. So hopefully we're close enough to get that slipstream benefit. Uh, let's see. Albon has gone up to seventh and knocked Oscar into the drop. We need to find two tenths at a minimum. Ooh, that wasn't ideal. Didn't lose out too badly, but that will have cost us a little bit. Flag. Now Porsche is out. Yuki just squeaking through. Both drivers up in the first. Yellow flag. Who made the mistake? Porsche. Porsche's. Now with the Haas. Oh, all right so far. Yeah, he's on a flying lap. The brakes couldn't cope. And that's Porsche out even. because he got knocked into the drop zone. He will not improve now. So Porsche has gone. DRS disabled. DRS disabled. How is Mick out of battery? Do we not have time to recharge his battery? No more energy for now. Oh, shit. Hopefully that's not going to hurt us. We've knocked out Yuki. Well, Yuki's been knocked out by somebody. Norris knocked him out. Oh, wow. How did we not improve? Is that because we ran out of battery? Oh man, Oscar's in 14th. Yeah, that final sector just without battery killed us. How did we run out of battery so fast? That makes no sense. But Mick just scrapes through. Oscar's out. So it's going to be another rough race for Oscar. He is nursing that uh, slightly wounded engine. Ah, that's a shame. That's a real shame. All right, let's get a, a rough baseline timeout for Mick. That's green light. This isn't going to be a quick time. Doesn't need to be. It was just about getting him in the confidence. There we go.
So I'm going to go out with uh, two laps on those other tyres. I just hope that's enough. have a good qualifying in this session I'm a little concerned about that Red Bull popping out oh no we beat it into turn one that's good so we got clear track that was important We'll see improvements across the board on this lap, but given the pace of the last lap, <laughs> that's to be expected. I'd be distraught if we didn't improve on this lap. Ninth, wow. Nearly a full second. Nearly a full That's second off there, the, the top there. Only a tenth behind Three. Norris. Confidence is higher, fuel load is lower, but tires are worse for this next lap. Hopefully we'll get some improvements though. There's Norris behind us coming up through Dunlop. So Mal uh, Maloney and Ocon had a crash. No penalties given. Although Maloney's on his outlap. Has he got damage? Don't see any damage. Tires are in good shape. Ocon's tires are ruined though. He's aborted his lap. He's got rear wing damage as well. So Ocon's not going to have another chance to improve. Got a little bit of front wing damage as well. So Maloney came out of that looking like he came out of that pretty much unscathed. Ocon definitely the worst for wear. Now we need something special from Mick. Confidence is almost completely full. Car is the lightest it's going to get. Got a Red Bull in the way. In a rough position. Get out of the way. Great, so we're compromised all through sector one. God damn. We have still improved though, amazingly. Tires looking a little rough.
can we find enough to move up a bit more? Maloney improves his time a little bit, but stays in seventh. We have improved in this sector as well. Don't run out of battery, don't run out of battery. Come on, Mick, something special in this final sector. No, he improved his time a little bit, but not enough. We stay ninth. Oh, this is going to be a painful race. This is the kind of pace I thought we were going to have at Singapore. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, so we finish up P9 there, P9. Well done. Ninth and fourteenth. A lot of work to do. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. Anything can happen at Suzuka, as Kimi Raikkonen proved in 2005. The Finn battled all the way from 17th to win. Will we see a similar show of will and talent today, I wonder? How do you think Oscar Piastri is feeling as we get nearer to race time? You know, it's not going well for them at the moment. They haven't been able to put everything together, and it's going to be a lot of work to get back to where they need to be. Well, now's the time for the team's cunning to emerge and for the driver's talent to shine. Let's see what's in store here at the Japanese Grand Prix. All right, a bit of an uphill struggle in this Grand Prix. think I might flip the script a little bit with Oscar. I might start him on the mediums. That's a bit of a risk. We'll try that. I'm going to go two extra laps of fuel. Let's just see how we can do. Can we get both cars into the points tonight? Might be a bit trickier here. We're all good to go here in Japan with 53 laps around the Suzuka circuit. Many people here and at home are wondering what the Haas driver could do. It's an unlucky P13 for them, but with slower cars ahead and around them, there's every chance to go forward. And it'll be exciting to see just what will happen here today. Get ready. It's the Japanese Grand Prix. It's lights out. And away we go! Can't do it. <laughs> Can we get around Norris? We're going to have the inside line through, uh, through Dunlop. But we're boxed in behind Maloney. Not the inside line at the hairpin. Schumacher nearly made the move stick. Can he make it move? Make the move stick now. Yes, he can. Excellent. Where's Oscar? He's down in 14th place. Let's take a look at tyres. Oh, wow. Everybody in front of Oscar, apart from Gasly, is on me is on softs. Magnussen is starting on the hards. Is he going for a one-stop, I wonder?
call the car. <laughs> to reach up on this. <laughs> available. Copy. All right, we're going to try and get Maloney out of the hairpin here. Side by side on the run to Spoon. And there we go. We are through. So, excellent start for Mick. Oscar on the back of Yuki, but not able to find a way through. We need to calm him down now. And uh, an interesting breakaway at the front. Max nearly two seconds ahead of Joe, who's two seconds ahead of Leclerc. Schumacher has dropped off the back as expected because I've stopped pushing him. Hopefully we can hold position against Ocon, but we'll see. We are very quick in a straight line, but he is going to have the DRS. Like he might get us here. Yeah, he's going to get us here. So we will top up behind him. Okay, recharge on, recharge on. Confidence is still in peak. Because we don't lose that much yeah. if we get overtaken, but we do gain a lot if we do make an overtake. Did Oscar manage to stay in range of Yuki? No, he didn't. That is annoying. Bottas looking at a lunge up the inside and gets us. So again, we'll slip into harvest. Just focus on charging the pack. is struggling and that's going to hurt the confidence we need to focus on the energy now Copy. okay recharge on we need to focus on getting the pack up it's going to be a rough next five laps or so for uh, Oscar with so many soft runners around him. 
Although the fact that Magnussen got us on the hard tyres is not ideal. Need to get him back ahead of Magnussen quickly if I can. I'm going to have to push his tyres a little bit more. Pick up the pace a bit. Need to rebuild that confidence quickly and hold off Stroll as well. Daniel. Okay, recharge on. Then you are free to use the energy when you want. Copy. Ah, we didn't make the DRS. I wonder if Magnussen is just pushing those hards as if they were a set of mediums. His tyre wear would suggest that. And the fact that we can't keep up with him would also suggest that. Races to go uh, after Suzuka. We go to La Salle, Cota, Mexico, Brazil, Vegas, and Abu Dhabi. So six more after tonight. pace with Oscar that's it that's all I had did I watch practice today no I saw the um, highlights of practice one uh, I saw Red Bull having some issues there um, uh, and the others have filled me in on practice too Yeah, looking at Magnussen's pace on that last lap, it's clear he was pushing hard, which is why I couldn't keep up with him. Maybe if I push the tyres, I can get back onto him this lap. Get your head down, you can do this, come on. But we are not fast on these mediums. Okay, push. Let's go. Not at all. I reserve judgment on all the cars until I see qualifying tomorrow. slowly catching back up to Magnussen he's finally stopped pushing by the look of it and I won't have seen qualifying tomorrow until after the live stream whenever the highlights go live on channel 4 
so no spoilers in the chat tomorrow about qualifying if it happens before the stream or during the stream not sure what time qualifying is but I would imagine it'll be before the stream no spoilers please The uh, highlights will be at three, but the the, oh, the 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 qualifying will be at three, but the highlights won't be probably till either during or after the live stream. Behind Sites and Russell here. And I think this is probably, you know, in this fight for fourth is the best we can look to achieve. But Norris is a few positions behind us still. Sonoda's a, uh, a few positions further back there as well. As long as we can outscore McLaren, I'll be happy. Don't have any real expectations of a strong result tonight. Overtake is available. Know if we made the DRS, I don't think we did. Hopefully, Oscar can get the move done here. Okay, so let's look after these tyres. Nope. Sorry, I've got an itchy face. I keep bumping the microphone. Let me just put that away for a second. Hopefully that will uh, sort out the itch.
coming under pressure from uh, the shore of all drivers. Perez down in last place. What is going on with Perez? to get this move done now. Pull out to take some air on the straight. Yep. There we go. Oscar moves up, gets a nice little confidence boost. Now we've got to try and work our way back up to Gasly. That might be a bit tricky. See if we can uh, pick off another driver or so with Mick before he boxes. Next season, am I going to challenge Max for the title? Uh, well, that's the hope. But until we get to the beginning of next season and see where our car sits, who knows? Right, our little push is coinciding with the fact that Science is dropping off the back of Russell. That's going to make it much easier to get through. Back off now. Cover. Okay, so let's cool the car now. Excellent. So that'll get Mick back into full peak confidence again. Up into fifth place now. Don't know if we can get on to George or not, but we'll see. See, Bottas is doing 134s. We did a 133 on the last lap, but we turned the tyres down again. So let's see what Oscar does on this lap. is off is George running George is on mediums so yeah that's why his pace is reasonably strong good shape those tyres as well 64% uh, I'm surprised that uh, Leclerc has not managed to get past show yet can he manage it now uh, Williams is uh doing very well today all right Gasly's got past Bottas Magnussen's caught us back up again can't really push the tires too much more a little bit but I don't really want to just yet Mick is edging onto the back of George Russell maybe starting Oscar on the mediums was the wrong choice given his lack of engine power. But we're getting the pain of those soft of those mediums out of the way. He'll be on softs for the rest of the race now. So hopefully he'll have more pace once he makes his first stop. As Mick has got into DRS range. Let's try and get some battery in the car because we're boxing in the next lap or two. I'd like to be able to attack straight out the gate.
Got a yellow flag. A couple of cars off there. There might be debris. It did happen in front of us, and it's Norris. Oh, that's awesome. The guy turning into me. Makes sense. And just like that... Bottas dives into the pits. Soft for soft. So, uh, Norris did get overtaken by Albon and Maloney, I think. No, just Albon. Uh, no penalties given. He's got Porsche right behind him. Tyres look to have held up. Albon's tyres look like they've taken a little bit of damage, maybe. Gonna box Mick on the next lap. Oscar struggling a little bit, gonna have to give him a little bit more oomph. Push a bit more. Yeah, copy. In fact, let's box Recharge Mick's on. this lap. Box this lap, please, box this lap. Copy box. Uh, side boxing as well so it's going to be a, a pit lane fight between us and Mercedes theoretically we should win this but we'll see two point four seconds we do get out in front Oscar now getting ready for his pit stop. We're going to put him on full attack. Do not want him losing a place. Almost time to get him onto the soft tyres. And Leclerc has finally got past Joe. Up into second place now. As Max boxes. This will be for soft again, I would imagine. Joe boxing as well. Yep, another set of softs. Got a yellow flag. Two sex. There's been a crash. Albon again. And this time he comes off worse, I think. Dangerous. This time Porsche are involved. Anthony says he's going to stick his neck out and say that Hamilton will be on the pile position tomorrow. I'm guessing he meant pole. Oh, 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 that was dangerous with a loadie coming out the pits like that. All right, any penalties? No, another racing incident. Top of the pile. That always got piles, you know.
push, push. Right, Oscar's found some pace by pushing hard like this. Helped by the fact that uh, <laughs> we're closing in on a, a wounded Albon who surely is going to box this lap. Yes, he is. Porsche is in as well. Let's see, does he have any damage that needs to be replaced? No, he doesn't. He's going for mediums, and that's a decent stop. Recharge back on, please. Recharge on. Mick, about just way. about breaking away from soft. Well, no, not really. Science is on soft, so it's going to be hard to break away from him, but... We've got Mick in uh, very, very, very good confidence there. Maxed out. Set some purple sectors last time out. Oscar has caught Gasly. Can we get an overtake in and get Oscar up towards peak confidence before he stops? That would be nice. Be able to attack on uh, softs with a lot of confidence in the car. We are flying on Gasly right now, who will not be boxing at this lap, because his tyres are much better than ours. We should hopefully be able to do this without using any DRS. That would be nice. They're not DRS, sorry, ERS. We need the DRS. New fastest lap for Max, a 130.5. Norris in the pits. Oscar up the inside and completes the move. Lovely stuff. And that gets him into peak confidence just before he stops. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful Lovely stuff. stuff. You're doing a really good job. Apparently P6. Norris down in 14th place. Gone for a new set of softs. One more lap with Oscar. And Leclerc is in. So, is this a hard tyre for the one-stop? No, it's soft for a two-stop. It's a good stop as well. Yuki's in. Mediums for Yuki. So that's the same strategy as Mick. Soft, medium, soft. Need to focus on getting the pack up. Schumacher is still ahead of Sainz. Closing in on the Williams of Magnussen. On those hard tyres. A little bit of a queue forming behind us, but I'm hopeful we can hold position. Yellow flag. That's Maloney. So it's yellow. Yeah. That's coming out of the hairpin. 
And he goes. And Oscar will be boxing this lap for soft tyres. So a good first run for Oscar. It's going to come out quite a way behind everyone again. That's a whole heap of traffic coming through. Can we beat some of it out? We're out in front of Perez, who has stopped for sure. Giovinazzi, Sonoda, Albon. Porsche, Norris, everyone in front of us has stopped. Nice's tyres, look how hot they've got. They're 59% now. We're burning his tyres up in the dirty air behind Mick. That's glorious. And Oscar's got almost a full battery to push with as soon as he gets his tyres up to temp at the end of this lap. There's the gaps. You can see we are still closing in on Magnussen. Alright, let's go for a fastest lap attempt. Without the DRS we might not get it, but who knows. A 130.3 is the benchmark set by Norris just now. Sainz struggling to stay with Mick, so we're going to push Mick a little bit quicker. Make sure we do drop Sainz on this lap. Bit of lift and coast where you can. Alfa Romeo's got a slipstream in front of us. And we need some big PU calling. Perfect. And we're not getting through. And we didn't get the fastest lap either because we got held up. focus on the energy now. Broken away from Science, we're on the back of Magnuson. Get the overtake done on this lap. Well, start of the next lap. Off 
go in and let's cool the car. Beautiful stuff. Make up into seventh place. Let's go recharge on. Oscar getting some battery back in the car because he's going to need it to punch his way through. Both of the uh, Alfa Romeos in front will cause a bit of a block. But we've left Perez for dead, who's got no pace here today. Why is that? Is his car knackered? Not really. His ERS is not in good shape, but his gearbox and engine are fine. His engine's actually just, I think, at the power threshold limit. It's just not quick. Russell's definitely looking to try for a one-stop, I think. He's still out there on those original tyres, as is Ocon and Gasly. Are they going to try and do a, a, a medium to soft one-stop? Well, speaking of, let's have a look. Russell coming in as well. There is the Ferrari, and it is hard tyres. It's a one-stop for Ocon. That is a bad stop. Much better stop for Ferrari. Gain some ground there. Mick has jumped both of them, which is important. Long way clear. Unfortunately, Russell is out in front of us. Need to up the pace a little bit now. Closing in on Gasly, who's going to be boxing probably end of this lap. So let's see if we can overtake him as well. Before that happens. No lift and coast required from our side at the moment. the inside that's a brave overtake at 130R and there we go we're through Gasly has stayed out did not expect that he's going to fight back We've got much more grip. We should be able to get the uh, move done again. And there we go. Let's see if we can focus on recharge, please. And now we should pull away from Gasly quite nicely. It's not working at all for Oscar tonight, is it? Was half a second quicker than for sure on that last lap. No, sorry, uh, Giovinazzi, who has caught back up to the shore. Second and a half quicker than him because he's caught behind Russell. Who has now got his tyres up to temp and is breaking away. Go on the attack. Got to get this confidence level up as high as we can to compensate for his lack of engine power. Gasly has been dropped before the DRS zone. Excellent stuff. Can we possibly get an overtake done here? Mm. 
not where they're blocking <laughs> the track side by side like this. We can't. Well, we did not get a really good launch out of that corner at all. Can't hang about now. Gasly's just come in. All right, so three more cars making a quick stop. No energy. Excellent stuff. We are up into peak confidence again. Uh, Gasly has gone hard tires as expected. Magnussen and Sainz have gone mediums. That is them to the end because they've done two runs on. Uh, well, no, Magnussen was doing a reverse one stop, so hards to medium. Sainz has done two runs on softs already, so he's got some work to do because we absolutely destroyed his tyres all that time he spent stuck behind Mick, unable to find a way through. Norris has got himself up into fifth place, half, you know, five seconds behind Schumacher, although he's just lost that to Porsche. And we've broken away from Giovinazzi and Vashore. Got some clean air for Oscar for a little bit until we catch up to uh, Yuki, Bottas and Russell. I want to get past these guys as quick as we can because we are on that two-stop. Russell is not. And I don't think Yuki is either. Uh, no, Yuki's on a two-stop. He's got to go another set of softs. Bottas is going to go mediums, I think. And Russell is going to the end. We're not in a race with Russell, but we are in a race with uh, these two. Someone has spun. Who and where? Maloney. That's all the way down in 19th. That doesn't affect us. Again, not a great afternoon for Maloney. That's two big mistakes now. We've got some tire wear to play with. Let's play with it now. You can push more. Don't want to give Giovinazzi a sniff at getting back on us again. Don't have any battery to fight him with, so we've got to do it on tire pace. How's Imola going for you, Anthony? Oh wow, Giovinazzi's on the push. He's closing us up. Hopefully we've got enough to hold him off. Bottas pitted. That's Valtteri into the pits. So this should be for mediums, and it is, that's Valtteri to the end now. Decent stop. We held off the challenge from Giovinazzi there.
Norris down another place, down to seventh place and dropping off the back of Ocon. Make a little bit more tire. Come on. Meanwhile, we are closing in on George. Starting to pull away from Giovinazzi again. Just a little bit. He's still going to be in DRS range this lap, but hopefully we can drop him on the next one. And hopefully we'll be in DRS range of George on the next lap as well. All right. Another headphone science test. Can you hear me open my drink can? Anything? A nope and a yes. <laughs> you got headphones on, Army. <laughs> well, the fact that um, it was a definite note from Mr. Water is encouraging because on the old mic, yeah, yeah, you heard it every time. Even if you weren't wearing headphones. No saving required. Copy. Looks like we are just going to miss out on George. Ocon now past Porsche into turn one got the gap back up to four seconds Ocon on those hard tyres is going to the end again we're not really in a race with him tonight getting close to our pit stop for Oscar which means we're getting close to our pit stop for Mick as well. Let's give Mick a little bit more. I want to try and get him past show if I can. Albon is now past Sonoda, I think. Or has Sonoda caught up to Albon? Might be the other way around. I think Sonoda's caught Albon. But we have finally got ourselves into the DRS of George. Can we stay there? Go get him. But can we get past him? That would be nice. Not this lap, I don't think. Well, maybe our closing speed is pretty good. Work on your PU cool. Not Come. quite. So you're good to push on tyres. Yep. We need to focus on getting the pack up. Can't we? Max is in. And that's for a set of mediums. 
So Max going to the end now. Claire will retake the lead. We are going to go for a faster slap attempt with Mick. I did think about trying it with Oscar, but given his lack of power, it's just not worth it. Um, Mick has definitely got a chance. So that's why I'm not using Mick's fuel or battery. I'm trying to get him onto the Maca Joe so I can charge up the battery as well uh, on the DRS straights. Or maybe just get the overtake done get him back into peak confidence before he makes his uh, stop. Push the tyres now. Copy. Push the tyres. Copy. I wonder if Albon's got some kind of damage from those collisions that he had. That too. Maybe he's got some structural damage to a chassis or a suspension that's uh, hurting him a little bit. Can but hope. Let's get him. Ah, just missed the DRS off of Joe. We'll get him on the next lap, which will be the lap we box on. Russell is past Albon. So focus on bringing the tyres down. You're going to go one more lap with Oscar as well. See if we can't get an overtake done on... Uh, Albon before we box. It looks like Joe's picked his pace up a little bit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Significantly. All right. Well, let's box Mick. Box, box, box. Box, box. Giovinazzi's in. We just missed the DRS. Norris is in. For a set of mediums. Both alphas are in. They timed that well. Got a yellow flag. We need to focus on the energy now. That's Norris making a mistake. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. Just a bit too hot and heavy into the first turn there. Holds his position, but we'll have lost a little bit of time. We can just focus on charging the pack. Cover. You're good to push on the tyres. Cover. Yep, let's pit. Cover. Box. So, Stroll yet to box, Maloney needs to box again, but apart from that, everyone behind us 
as far as Oscar's concerned, is boxing, is going to the end. Uh, Albon was probably boxing again, as is Sonoda. That's who we're fighting. Understood. New fastest lap for Max, a 130.0. Quick, quick lap. Oops. Shit. Did not mean to do that. That's what I meant to do. 2.2. That's a decent stop. That's the quickest stop. Beautiful. 2.3. That's a good stop as well. So, Mixon, 8th place. 5 seconds at a gas leak. Oscar gets caught by Giovinazzi on the exit of the pit lane. Bring the pack up. Yep. We're not too far behind Russell. We're only eight seconds behind George. Uh, behind George. We've got the opportunity to actually get back in front of him. Those Charles Leclerc boxes. That's a quick stop. is going to slot out just in front of Albon and I do mean just scrolls into the pits Oscar goes through time we've taken out of Albon already we've taken two seconds out of him in half a lap I think There's a new fastest lap. 128.5. Whoa, that is quick. That was a hell of a lap. Let's go recharge on, please recharge on. Copy. Look at that. We were four seconds quicker than Albon on that last lap. Oh, we've got a VSC. Ah, now that makes things interesting. And here we've got a yellow flag. It's a crash from Maloney. Of course, it's Maloney. He's had a horrible afternoon. His inexperience is really starting to hurt him this season. Oof. Wow. That's a heavy, heavy crash. That's a really heavy crash. Delta. Yeah. Right. Albon's going to get a free pit stop. As is Yuki Sonoda. As is Joe. Oh. Right. How far behind them are we? Well, we're going to jump Albon. That's okay. Um. Sonoda. We should get out ahead of our, uh, Sonoda. I think Joe is going to get out in front of us.
Into the box he comes. Joe went through. Uh, that's a mistake on his part. Albon has stayed out as well. That's a mistake on his part. Why did they not box? Ah, look at all that traffic that Yuki's been able to jump. Ah, that's so frustrating. Need that BSC to come in now. Come on, don't give Joe and Ocon, sorry, uh, Joe and Albon another chance at boxing here. Again, he stays out. Why is he staying out? And VSC ending. Copy. So let's lean on these tyres. Yep. The RS available. Okay, push. Let's go. Copy. And energy is available. Got to get past Giovinazzi on this. Can't finish straight here. Overtake is available. Giovinazzi is pushing. Shit. Maybe we can get him at the hairpin. No, he's still pushing. Let's go and get him. Disabled. Copy. Okay, recharge on, recharge on. Okay. Need to focus on getting the pack up. Beautiful stuff from Oscar there. I'm like, okay, calm it down. We'll have to wait for the next lap. And he just saw an opening and phoom, straight in there. That was beautiful stuff. Let's see, can we get Valtteri here? Use energy. Yep. Yes, we can.
Fantastic. Oscar into peak confidence. Closing in fast on Norris and Sites. We need to focus on the energy now. Come on, make the move, make the move. Good lad. There we go. Through on Albon. Go after George. Boys are coming alive. Sides can get all the way. Uh, sorry, Sides. Uh, Oscar can get all the way up to 19th uh, place here. Just off these cars in, right in front of him. We could just focus on charging the pack. That's probably as high as he's going to get. Just getting through those is not going to leave us enough time to then close up to the back of Sonoda. Especially considering he's on soft tyres. Mick's caught George. All right, Mick. Up the inside of Norris, can we hold position around the edge of Spoon? Yes, we can. Straight on the attack against Sites. Can we get two here? We can. Oscar has come alive. Can we get Porsche? Air? go around the outside of him. Ah, couldn't make that one stick. That was a bit too far, but he's up to 12th place. Slow now. Let's pick our pace up. Let's go. We still have the fastest lap. Hope that continues. The bonus point would be very nice. Use energy. Bring the pack up. Get the tyres down now. Copy. Yeah, Gauss is trying to break away, can't let him get away. Hope I can get both Magnussen and Porsche on this next start finish straight. I don't have the battery for a full deployment here.
Damn it. Focus on bringing the pack back up. Charger for a lap. Mick is stretching away and closing on Charles Leclerc and Ocon and Joe. Joe has still not stopped. No wonder he's going so slow. Is Joe doing us a solid here? Is he giving us the opportunity to close in? We're only six seconds behind this fight. We're only six seconds off the podium. How is he managing to keep that car going? Staying out another lap. I think Ocon's going to get him here, but Leclerc's going to be boxed in, and we're now just 4.8 seconds behind this battle. So we're going to get Joe. There's no question of that. We're going to get fourth place, and we get past Leclerc. As yes, we get past Magnussen. heading into turn one it's there for the taking that's oscar up into p11 now the points in touching distance now they're 11th keep your pace up let's go into the helmet cam And Leclerc finally gets through. We've got five laps left now. not going to do it. If you could push a bit harder and try and get up to him, let's see. Yellow flag. <gasps> it's sock on. This is for a podium now. <laughs> Albon's really struggling as well. Albon hasn't spot pitted yet either. And Schumacher moves up into third place. We're going to go around the outside of Gasly. Can we get through or we're going to be boxed in? There we go, ninth place. Right, we've got to go four and a half seconds to catch Porsche. That might be a bridge too far. But we are on the podium. This is incredible stuff. I 
and I'm going to bring it home with Mick. I'm not going to go chasing after Leclerc because I just don't want to risk an accident. Gasly's fighting us. This is going to be a tricky one to hold off. Need to focus on getting the pack up. I'll settle for ninth. We just don't have enough time left, I don't think. All tyres left to go after Porsche. Can we hold off Gasly, though? We were a second quicker than Leclerc. Mm, yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the risk. Got a six-second lead over Ocon now. So we are probably secure in third place, which just would be a fantastic, fantastic result. Gasly's through, so we'll calm the tyres down and we'll start harvesting the battery. Expeditions releases in a few days. I knew it was coming up, I wasn't sure exactly when. Uh, I'm curious, I'm going to wait to see how it reviews. I'm not going to jump straight into that one. I just, for whatever reason, I just didn't connect with SnowRunner. Still got it but just haven't had any desire to go to it since I tried it at launch. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get expeditions. I'm going to wait and have a look at some videos, some gameplay videos and read reviews and stuff before I make a mind upon that one. But Three laps. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm interested. I'm just uh, waiting to see. Three laps to go. Oh, Yuki has suddenly jumped ahead of Sonoda and Ocon. Damn it. Okay, Ocon, I need you to do me a solid and get back in front of Yuki. Might be tricky looking at the tyres. Joe is still out there on 7% tyres. I'm only nine seconds behind him with Oscar. There's every chance that Oscar might just naturally get an extra position here. Speaking of which, let's turn those tyres back up just a touch. Stop charging. We can push more. Cover. Need to stay in range of Gasly. Can't let him get away from me. Energy is available. Cover. You pre-ordered Taxi Life. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that one as well. I haven't pre-ordered it, but I'm, uh, I'm keeping a watchful eye. Two laps to go. Oh shit, fuel. Or lift the coast, please. So. Oh, and so Yuki is flying. 129.3, yeah, there's no way Ocon's going to keep up with him. So Yuki's going to minimise our point gain. But Norris is nowhere near the points. Okay, mate, no more lift the coast needed. We need to focus on the energy now. Yeah. Cool. Which version have you ordered, Mr. Water? PC or uh, console? Copy. 
can't believe Joe is still out there. Those tyres are going to explode. How has he not got a puncture yet? And you are free to use the energy when you want. Copy. All right, last lap. No, no, no! We can just focus on charging the pack. Arrgh. We can push more. There's Joe. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. Oh, I'm driving clean air. No wonder I'm not getting the over. out of battery can I at least get Joe okay and that is the checkered flag mix on the podium ah oh, damn it that lack of battery killed me tyres are looking good 10th place, okay, well, 10th place is okay. <coughs> but it's a podium for Schumacher, that's 15 points and the fastest lap. 16 points and a point for Piastri, 17 points. Zenoda gets 12 for 4th place, Norris gets 0. There are his tyres finally exploding. <laughs> Joe's tyres all go at Mitch once. Schumacher's <laughs> drive, definitely worthy of praise today. Definitely a well-deserved podium. How Obviously, Joe managed to pull that off, I do not know. There is the that was brave. Groups with a team that worked so hard to see this moment. Well, his dad stood on the podium many, many times, and Mick Schumacher has proven he's got every right to be there too. And their podium count for this season alone now stretches to four. and a lovely show of sportsmanship to conclude proceedings here in Japan. And down there in the Alpha Tauri garage, Karun, what would they be making of that race, do you think? They'd certainly be pleased to have made the podium. A job well done, for sure. And that's all for today as we wrap up the weekend here in Japan. For the next round, we'll be travelling to Qatar as the drivers battle it out at the Losail International Circuit. We'll see you there. So then, confirmation of the final results. It's a win for Max. He'll stretch his lead over Charles Leclerc in the driver's standings. This is going to go to the wire between those two, but Max is definitely in the ascendancy right now. Uh, Mick Schumacher up six places and gets the fastest lap as well. 16 points tonight. Yuki up eight places. Great result for him, unfortunately. Ocon gains the place. Porsche up seven places. Russell down two. Ferrari in, in trouble. Ferrari definitely in trouble. Uh, Gasly gained a couple of extra places. More points for Aston Martin. Joe somehow hanging on to finish in ninth place. His tyres blowing up on the cooldown lap there. And uh, Oscar up four places. Um, could have been eighth if we'd been able to stay in front of Gasly could have been eighth uh, but we'll take the extra point that he brings in in tenth 
Uh, looking at the bottom half of the standings, uh, nine places game for Joe Vlasi. He had a good race tonight. Sainz down eight places, a disastrous race for him. Uh, Magnussen getting a couple of places. Poor race for Norris and Albon. Albon getting into uh, two collisions, you know, within just a couple of laps of each other. Uh, for sure, up three. Perez up one. Stroll not really doing much there at the bottom. And Bottas had a bit of a nightmare. Uh, speaking of nightmares, Maloney. Two big lockups and then a horrendous crash at Spoon. Uh, he hit that wall hard. So that car is going to be completely written off, I think. Let's take a look at the driver's standings. Max now stretching his lead to eight points over Charles Leclerc. Very tight still between the two of them. Uh, Norris in third still. No points for him tonight. He's on 207. Oscar gains a point and is on 180. Uh, might be a bit hard to overhaul Norris with Oscar. Big points for Mick, though. He's closing up on his teammate. We're now a solid fourth and fifth in the in the driver's standings. Yuki gaining uh, some good points there as well in sixth place. He is 19 points behind Mick. Ocon gaining 10 more points. And George does actually overtake Stroll, who didn't get any points at all tonight. Uh, puts him six points clear. We scroll a little bit further down. You see that Joe jumps Magnussen in the Williams driver head to head. He's leading him by a point now. More points for Haas, thanks to Theo Porsche, who's been pretty heroic this season, as you can see. 28 points in what is not a great car. Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And Joe Venazzi moves above Maloney uh, thanks to his uh, 11th place finish. In the driver's standings, it's Red Bull on 634 points. Uh, I'm not sure if they have already mathematically won the Constructors. I think there's still a little bit of wiggle room left. Um, but it's it's purely mathematical now. Uh, there's no way McLaren are going to beat them. Alpha Tauri in third place still. But we do claim back five more points over McLaren. Uh, so that puts us on 332 just eight points behind McLaren again now uh, Alpine picking up 10 more points they are a long way behind us still uh, Aston Martin picking up four more points Ferrari getting six points uh, still 20 behind Aston but did close the gap by two Williams get a couple of points Haas move up to eighth place above Mercedes again with those eight points no points for Mercedes themselves. They are still on just 24 points. And Alfa Romeo still bottom with two. In the pit stop challenge, we had the quickest stop with Mick ahead of Red Bull's Max Verstappen. Then Oscar in third. So big points for us there. Uh, Charles Leclerc in fourth. We will increase our lead over Red Bull again. McLaren fifth and seventh. Ferrari in sixth. Mercedes in eighth. Alpine ninth. And Aston Martin in tenth. So the standings look like that. We have 562 points. Red Bull behind us and uh, in second on 485 points. Ferrari third, uh, Mercedes in fourth, being closed up now by McLaren, who closed the gap to just 12. Uh, Alpine with two points. Aston Martin, just that solitary point for them tonight. Uh, and then Alfa Romeo and Williams have got points. Half now the only team to get a point in the standings. Now you see 2.4 seconds for Mick's first stop, a 2.2 for the second stop, a 2.2 for Oscar, just a fraction slower, and a 2.3 on his second stop. Let's check out the report cards. So 11 overtakes for uh, Mick with six failures and four successful defenses, just the one failed for Mick. Solid racing from him today. And Oscar, 11 successful overtakes and nine failed. 10 successful defences and 6 failed. Good afternoon's work for him as well. A little unlucky at the end there, uh, but he will have a much better engine in the next Grand Prix. Hopefully he'll be a bit more competitive. And we got some more experience on track for Ollie as well. As far as the sponsors go, well, we didn't get both cars in the top 12, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, we lost 50 grand there. Uh, but we kept the streak alive, I think. Yeah, finished position streak we completed. We didn't get both cars into Q3, but that was just an incentive. No penalty there. And uh, our quality streak is still intact because that was just one car in uh, 
the top 10, I think it was. So now I think we have a little bit of a gap until Qatar. Underfloor research project is done. Yeah, I've got 11 days till the next Grand Prix. Let's swap out the side pods. There we go. We've got one spare side pod. Chassis is going to break soon, but hopefully we'll be okay um, with the remaining spares that we've got. Let's take a look at mixed car. Side pods at risk there, but we've got another set waiting, so that's okay. Don't need any more spare parts. Good, because we haven't really got the money to buy them. Uh, let's get a new research project on the way. We've got some new hours to play with as well, because we've got a new ATR. This is the final one of the season, I believe. Uh, let's see, there might be one more. Uh, so chassis, not really required, underfloor. Yeah, we definitely need another underfloor, don't we? Uh, let's put half of our hours into this. Go. Uh, we really want to crank up those downforce numbers. Okay, one engineer. We've got two days till the rear wing's done, three days till the suspension's done. Front wing's good. Rear wing needs another rear wing project. Suspension needs another suspension project. It's not going to show the benefit of the last underfloor project we've just done, but the new one on top of the one that isn't showing we'll make that fine um so we will probably do another rear wing and then a side pod project because we haven't done anything for the side pod um uh, that might be it for us in terms of cash after that uh let's take a look at facilities still a couple that are close to breaking everything in here is still fine and everything in here is still fine, although the boardroom will probably break just before we get to Qatar. <clears throat> Let's see what the board thought of that result. Hey, we're delighted. This is awesome. We're getting delighted results every single race at the moment. I do expect to maybe stop that, that streak in the next couple of races, but we'll keep it going as long as we can. Eight races now where we've scored at least one podium. That's uh, awesome stuff. We are definitely putting ourselves in a strong position to be contenders next season. We've got the uh, regulation changes there. And that has been voted down. Six teams voted against, including us. Uh, four teams voted for. So we will not lose uh, prize share money next season. Uh, we will keep whatever <laughs> we're supposed to get, depending on where we finish, which is looking like third place. So maybe 12th. If we can get 12th, that would be amazing. But if we can get third, I'll be happy with third. Considering last year we finished, what, fifth uh, and got 9%. Uh, season before that was eighth for seven and a half. Season before that was eighth for seven and a half. Yeah, that's nearly double. Well, seven. Yeah, nearly double, basically, um, if we can get second. Uh, but a good chunk uh, of an improvement if we can get third. All right. 
the rear wing project is done spare front wing is now manufactured let's go one more day there we go so uh let's have a look a chance to skip a sponsor obligation yeah we'll approve that It'll come back to bite us a bit later in the season, but that's okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save our progress. There we go. And I'm going to load so we can see what our uh, current downforce situation is like on the research side. now that those projects are done. So we've done one chassis project and so everything's a benefit there. That's our front wing situation. Unchanged. Uh, rear wing situation now looks like that and we're about to do another rear wing project. So that's coming along nicely. We're going to throw some big hours onto that one there. Uh, that will be that completely sorted. So we'll have a good rear wing, hopefully next season. We're about to do a side pod as well. That's what our underfloor looks like as we've got a new project going through with ours. That should do quite nicely for us. And that's the state of suspension. So we are still going to need another suspension project. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Yeah, much as I would like to do a side pod, we'll hold off on that. And the rear wing's in better shape than the suspension, so we'll just do a standard project. There we go. And now let's put the rest of our hours into another suspension project. A little bit of cash left in the cost cap. Not a huge amount. I am going to go ahead and do an upgrade on the wind tunnel uh, next month. Another warning about the cost cap. Yep, <clears throat> we're going to receive fines. We know about that. We can't really avoid that. We want to make sure we don't ruin our development for the car. We did have to end it early last year, and it hurt us a little bit this year. Uh, we could have been a bit more competitive had we not run out of cash so early last season. But the uh, emergency manufacturing builds last season, plus new engine parts, were pretty horrific. This year, much more controlled, about half, if not more, saved. There we go. Front wing project is done. We don't really need to do another front wing. So, let's do a side pod. Just one. There we go. It's not a massive project, but it's a little boost to our side pods. You know, we're still going to have to work on them next season. 
Um, but hopefully we won't have to work on them quite as much. Factory refurb is done. Here is the sponsor obligation coming back. Uh, they would like to rearrange for the 6th of January 1900. Absolutely. <laughs> there we go. That's supposed to have been patched out. <laughs> Obviously, it hasn't. Uh, right. That's our factory back up to full working order. That is going to need a refurb. That's going to need a refurb. I'm looking at what we can upgrade versus where we need to make sure we've got money for for refurbs. Everything in here is fine. Operations. There's the boardroom skipping. We will give that a refurb. Keep the board as sweet as we can. Knowing that we've got fines coming up. Uh, what do I need for an upgrade on the wind tunnel? 12 mil, which we don't have now. All right. Well, that is it for tonight. What a race. What a race. I mean, a little unlucky again with Oscar. Um, just not having pace in qualifying. But we have probably used that engine for the last time tonight. We've got an 85% engine left that's it that's all we've got left in terms of engines apart from the one we just stopped using uh which is getting close it's not completely dead but it's only got probably one more race in it before it starts to hit that threshold of uh, going yellow so uh we'll be using the other engine the best engine we've got left for oscar here at qatar tomorrow it is a sprint weekend so it'll be a slightly longer than usual stream as they usually are uh, hopefully we'll see a bit more performance from Oscar tomorrow. Not sure how we're going to go there either. There's um, a lot of flat sections, but there's also a lot of corners. Definitely a, a downforce heavy circuit. A lot of medium speed cornering. It's not too bad for us medium speed compared to our high speed and our low speed. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll keep our fingers crossed. We can do something, you know, better. But uh, it'd be nice to get some good points with Oscar again. He's struggled these last couple of races uh, with making his way through the grid uh, after penalties at um, uh, Singapore. And then just poor qualifying and, you know, uh, a poor engine uh, tonight at Suzuka. But to get back in the points was still impressive on both of those occasions so yeah hopefully he'll be a bit better at qatar then we've got kota and then mexico and i'm hoping for big things at mexico because of that really long straight i'm hoping we're still quick there and if we can keep our pace the level it's at now and our drs at the level it's at now by the time we hit vegas vegas could be a good race for mick could be a really good race for mick um not so much for Oscar. Oscar's engine will be dying again by the time we get to Vegas. But Mick should still be in decent um, condition with his engine by that point. I think he's still got a brand new engine left. Um, we'll check that obviously tomorrow. So yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. Uh, but that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more F1 Manager very soon. <laughs>